Nigeria's critic of this government. Yes. Uh, it's being argued out there that this fallout in the system came about because you had certain expectations and uh, these were not fulfilled. You, you, you had hoped that perhaps this government would, would, would give you a job, appoint you to a senior government position. And that didn't happen. And that's why you are sulking. That's why you are you're coming out very, very fiercely. Uh, that's why you're seeing this uh, mud in government. What, what, would, what would you say? A very good question. And in yeah. fact, that is what those who want to say things about me, they'll say. You know, even if you differ with your wife, Munakosana Bibiaka Usiku, Asbui kwa barabara unaambia watu hui bibi yangu alikuwa ananuka. That's why he chased him away. But before, when you are staying with her in the house, you are not saying anything. You say hui bibi yangu alikuwa na manai na manai. Au bibi anasema hui bwana wezi kazi kwa kitanda. Na meza na hui watoto kumi. Sasa hui watoto alisaa na hui kumi. Hau kwa na weza kazi. Sasa ndi umekuwa hujui kama mumekosa. It will happen like that. I want to leave it clearly. Uh, William Ruto is a good friend of mine for many years. He keeps his promise. He offered me to be the PS. I refused. I, I gave Dr. Peter Zinyangana. That was my position. He told me about CS. I refused. I'm too big to be a CS. I'm too big to be a PS. You know, you know, you know some things I don't want to say in public. The truth is I'm too senior than a cabinet secretary. You know a trade unionist, a serious trade unionist like myself. You can't be a CS. We unatukua CEO. Unatukua kupewa kasi ya kupewa amri. Na mi napiana amri kufi. I have over 30 employees, my friend. Where do I leave my 30 employees to be a PS or a CS? I can employ a CS and pay and remain with change in my pocket. I don't want to be a CS. Me, I want honorario too. Kitu too, ya honorario. I did not want any employment. And what is that? I'm saying if they were to give me anything, it is a honoraria. Yani kitu kama ya kuka. Kama ile niko sahi bot. Yes. Si niko bot. Yon honoraria. Yes. But this is cutters of workers, not government. Yes. Therefore, yes. that... What, no, no, no. I've not requested for anything. Okay. I'm just trying to tell you. Yes. I cannot be a CS, it's a small job. Okay. I cannot be a PS, it's a small job. Yeah. I cannot be a CS, it's a small job. Mimi ni mtu mkubwa. You don't hear how Atwoli says. Atwoli says he does not want to be a president. That is true. He earns over 30, his, his income, Atwoli, is 30 million per month. Why do you want to be a president? And you have not gotten that money from politics, so you want to protect it. Like Francis Atwoli has nothing to protect. What I have, I've not gotten from politics. I have nothing to protect. For me, I'm comfortable where I am. I, my status in the trade union movement is above a CS. So anything below a CS I cannot go for. So sisi ni watu ambao tunataka tu honorario. Kama vile viko honorario sa ikwa, bot, ya lab fund, unaona. That's all. Nothing else. Sita kipeza ni kuna ya kutosha. What's the next move? What, what are you considering? The next move, we are starting something called Partless People's Movement. Partless People's Movement. Yaani muungano wa watu ambao hawako kwa vyama vya vyote vya kisiasa. Wale wanataka kuhama vyama vyote. Tunataka tupaki hatuna vyama maana hii vyama ni watu binafsi. Mimi ni tofautiana na UDA na pikiwa simu na rais. Ananiambia talk. Hiyo ni chama. Kama nilikosea chama. Nimepingana na chama. Kuna disciplinary process. Ningeitwa kwa disciplinary. Niambue panyako. You have opposed government uh, parties stand on these issues. We feel you are undermining the party. You must go through a disciplinary process. But if the party leader calls you and tells you leave my party because you are disagreeing with me, is that a political party? A political party must have systems. I should have been subjected to a disciplinary process and expelled from the party. Or and then after the disciplinary process, they ask me you have two options. We expel you or you resign. But a party leader tells you leave my party. Is that a political party? There are no political parties in Kenya. Those are individual Yellow, in trade union we say yellow trade unions. These are yellow political parties. They have no institution. For example, when Malala was coming, we were just summoned a snake. And we were told Malala is the stick from today. What kind, of, what kind of joke is this? Those are jokes. So perhaps you should have stood ground and say, look, there's a disciplinary process, there's a procedure. Wewe uishi Kenya, wewe unaishi toka mbinguni. You're speaking very strongly, Mr. I know you know these things. I know you know these things. But the, why I call you was about lab fund. You know you'll veer away and you'll not say what I want to say. I want to talk about lab fund and the capture of state corporations. This is all related, sir. This is all related. What are, you know political parties in Kenya. They are owned by individuals. That's the truth. I have told you my own example. I, was, I did not refuse 
to subject myself to the disciplinary committee. The disciplinary committee should have called me, they raised a, a complaint, I appear to them, I, I put my case on the cross, but because they know I'm right, they can't call me. So they intimidate me. Leave the party. Kwa nini hiyo party nilikuwa nalipwa mshahara? Ama nini nilikuwa napewa kwa hiyo chama? In fact, I did a lot to change the feelings of people in Malava on this political party. And that's how we call the vote that we call. But definitely I want us to stick to the agenda of lab fund and state capture. Yes, on, on lab fund. No, 